Legal. Welcome to Chuck Taylor coming to see you with another sneaker review video. Today we are reviewing, or actually, the reason, I got a few shoes lately. The reason I decided to do this review video first is because the last one I did about two weeks ago, it got a lot of hits. Um, it's only been about two weeks and it's already up to about 350, 400 views. And I really didn't expect it from that pair of shoes. But obviously it's a lot of people trying to get information on them or to just kind of see what they were like. Uh, I know a few stores I've seen around the area still had a few pair in stock. So um, we'll just get right into this video. And of course you can go back and check that video out once you're done with this one. But um, these are actually the shoes that I wore today. We have here the Griffey Max 1 Volt, uh, Royal Volt. The other ones had the navy with the volt color. These have the royal blue with the volt. Personally, um, trying to decide between the two is is really, really hard. I, I was comparing them side to side with each other, and it's pretty much impossible. Um, these, I fell in love with them back when they first came out. These were super, super, super exclusive, honestly. Uh, like, really, I never even saw these on shelves anywhere in any store one day I just heard they dropped next day I went to go look for them and like nobody had them this is when I was in Houston so a very big market for Nike and nobody had them in stock and caught around to a lot of different stores and nothing but um, I actually got these for for retail uh, 163 shipped to my doorstep perfect uh, hooked up with a gal um, on Facebook from the Nike talk group uh, and man couldn't have been more happy with my purchase here but um, as you can see, of course, uh, Griffey ones. Everybody's pretty familiar with them. If you're a Griffey fan, this is definitely the most popular um, Griffey shoe to date. Uh, they've been coming out a lot of a lot of the, the newer style Griffeys and stuff, and I'm not really too much of a big fan of those. But these, you cannot go without. But um, as you can see, the whole shoe pretty much is in this royal blue color. Um, which I really love because you don't really find many shoes in general that's pretty much covered in a royal blue. Usually royal blue is more of like an accent color or something like that. But this whole shoe is royal blue. Um, the accent color on here is going to be the Volt again, as you can see in the bubble. As you can see on the, the toe right here. Also a little bit on the 24 and also on the back with the Nike swoosh. Uh, the laces in here are blue. Uh, if you switch them to, to kind of a lime green color, it might look pretty nice as well, make it pop out a little bit. Um, of course, number 24, which is King Griffey Jr.'s number. You do have the Nike indention on the side right here as well. And obviously, as you can see, the black Nike swoosh right there along the side and going on to the, to the toe box area. Um, this whole material, all the blue is going to be a, a new buck feel. All the white right here is leather. Real nice touch there. Um, the whole midsole, white, black accenting above each one of the air bubbles, along with the all black sole, blue accenting uh, along the, the forefoot area, and as you can see, the Vogue color accenting the swoosh and the, uh, the flaming baseball as well on the bottom here. But um, very simple shoe. Uh, I know another another person pointed out to him that these do run a little bit small. Uh, this is a ten and a half. I usually wear about a ten, ten and a half. So depending on how you want your shoes to fit, mm, you might want to get a half size up. I prefer to rock a ten, but of course sometimes I, got, I do got to go up to a ten and a half, especially like the newer Jordans and in this shoe, like I was saying. So that's just just the FYI there. But um, here's a look at them on feet right now. So I showed y'all the navy vote ones with shorts on, so I'm showing y'all these with long pants here. Um, we'll do the strap on one of these as well so you can see that. But yeah, with the strap done or with it with it out, still looks nice. And I'll tuck that for you. But that's a look at each one. Me, of course, I always have to have my tongue out or the strap undone, so that's a look from that side. Look from the front once again. And look from the other side. Somebody told me today that uh, these looked a lot better on feet, so you be the judge. If 
if you're rocking these on the football field or playing baseball on turf, they probably look pr look pretty sick. Of course, that was the original purpose of these. Because when Griffey did play in um in Seattle, uh, of course that field is turf. What well, that's a close up of them on feet, of course. Look at the bottom. But yeah, you be the judge of which way you prefer to rock them. That's hella tight though. But yeah, that's my that's me right there. And this is the way I wore them today. Along with shorts as well. I think I switched clothes. But yeah. Wow. Okay, so that was my review of the uh, Royal Blue Volt Griffies. I also pulled out the Navy Volt as well, so you can see a side-by-side -side comparison of them. Um, like I was saying, really not much different except for, of course, one is Royal, one is Navy. Same sole, pretty much the same. Different, different little bit of coloring on the bottom. As you can see there. That's a look from the front for both of them. And a look from each side. But yeah, no matter what color you decide to go with, where you, whether you decide to go with the navy, or you want to go on eBay or find yourself um, a pair of the Royals, either one is, is definitely a nice pickup. Both shoes are, are, are very, very nice. And I'm not much of a, of a blue fan, but this was one shoe I had to, had to get. But yeah, there you are. Look at both of them side by side. But uh, the real Chuck T, of course, follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Um, oh yeah, and also I will be doing a video. Um, of course, I've reached um, 100 subscribers. I already got it to 100, like about 130 now actually, so I'm a little bit behind. Hit 10,000 views. I will be giving out two $50 Foot Locker gift cards um, to two people, which I will be doing a drawing for. Here in one of my videos soon to come, so be sure to look out for that. But in the meantime, like I was saying, follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Make sure to click that subscribe button right down there. That's the only way you will be entered into that drawing. Uh, so that is about it. Hope everybody has a good Memorial Day. The sky's falling, the wind is calling, stand for something or die in the morning. Section 80, high power.